Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel Abo. I'm a Microsoft Power Platform developer. And today I'm going to be showing you two steps in which you can create a one-to-many relationship in Microsoft Dataverse. Don't forget to like this video and hit on the subscribe button. So if you can notice, I'm in my Power Apps environment, which is make.powerapps.com. So after coming to this place, the next thing I need to do is to click on tables. If you do not know how to create a custom table in Microsoft Dataverse, you can check my video on how to create a custom table in Microsoft Dataverse. So a one-to-many relationship is a parent-to-child relationship where our parent table is our primary table and our child table is our related table. So in this video, the two steps we are going to be creating, the first step is when we create our table, we create the relationship in our primary table, which is the parent table. And then the second step is where we create a lookup column in our, relate, in our related table, which is the child table. So I already have my tables created, which is the isolation accommodation and also the registered customers table. So the first thing I'm going to be starting with is the first step, which is to create the relationship. So after clicking on my table, I have relationships. I'm going to click on relationships. And then I'm going to click on new relationship and click on one to many. So our related table, so I'm going to search for that isolation accommodation. And then look up column display name. So what are we giving this? What are we giving this column display name? So let's try this. Registered accommodation customers. OK. Then for click on general and just change this to registered to make it easier for you to understand what tables have the relationship. So it's going to be registered customers. Then add this to it, then our isolation accommodation. I just bringing in the two names of our tables, isolation accommodation. So this is totally optional. You can give your column a description. Then we're going to click on advanced option and type of behavior we'll be using referential and deletes we're going to be using remove link. So I'm just going to click on done and wait for it to save. OK, so I'm going to wait for this to save. And when we scroll down. When we scroll down, you are going to see the relationship we just created, which is our registered accommodation customer. So you can see it one to many relationship. So there's one thing you can notice here after creating your one to many relationship, you cannot change your table, but you can change the color name. You can change the color this column display name and also you cannot change the relationship name. So if you if you want to change the table name, the table, you can easily just delete it. You can easily delete the relationship. So we're going to be going to registered customers and we're going to be starting with the second second step, which is to create a lookup column in our related table. And our related table is the isolation accommodation. OK, and I'm going to show you the reason why. So when we click on isolation accommodation, click on edit. OK, I'm going to go back and just click on it instead of clicking on edit. So now instead of clicking on relationships, I'm just going to click on this plus sign, which is new column. Then I'm going to give my column a name. 
going to give it registered customers. Then data type is going to be lookup. So you can either make your you can either make it a you can either make it required or you can leave it at optional. So for this, we are going to be leaving it at optional. So you can see we have related tables. So you have to select a related table. And our related table here is registered customers. Then we are going to click on save. So we're waiting for it to save. So now you can actually see the lookup column we just created. You can see it's registered customers. And when you go to relationships inside of isolation accommodation, you can now actually see that relationship we just created, which is the registered customers. And you can see it is a many to one relationship. But when you go back to register table, it's going to be showing a one to many relationship. So that is the reason why we created our lookup column inside of our chair. That is why we created our lookup column inside of our chart table. Then the first step we did, which is the relationship we created for the first step, which is registered accommodation customer. You can see it here as a many to one relationship where our isolation, where our isolation accommodation table is our many table and is many then for uh, primary, then for registered customers is for one. So I'm just going to go back to, I'm going to go back to registered customers to see what we just created. I'm going to click on relationships. So now you can see it. We have one to many relationship and one to many relationship. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. So there's also one thing I'm going to show you. We're going to also go back to the registered table. Register customers table and check on the columns to see. Okay, just going to scroll through this. OK, so none of the so after creating these relationships, they are all lookup columns. The first one we created is a lookup column in your table. The second one we created is also a lookup column. So we are going to check. You can see none of them is showing here. We are going to go back to. Our isolation accommodation. This is the second lookup column we created. Then we're going to check for the first one we just created. You can see it. This is the first one we created. So you can see the first one we created is actually showing on the child's table. You can see, and the data type is lookup. You can, this is actually the first relationship we created. The first step we created, which is showing on our isolation accommodation table. And if you can see, this is a lookup. The data type is lookup. Yeah. So if you have any questions, don't forget to ask on the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you in my next video. Thank you.